Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to talk to you about Microsoft Azure subscriptions. Everything starts with a subscription, and I'll show you how to create a subscription, uh, do some management of that subscription, and then cancel it when you're done using it. I need to start at azure.com. This actually redirects to azure.microsoft.com, but I find azure.com easier to remember. You notice there's a free option here. Let me click on that. Try Azure for free. And this gives me $200 Azure credit for many of the services in Azure. Once that runs out, then I'm going to have to start paying for it or just stop using Azure. So this is really nice, you know, try before you buy feature right here. Uh, pay as you go sometimes gets implemented because if you've already got an Azure subscription, you can't create another it's a free one. You can't just keep on forever creating free ones. Um, and that then you actually start paying right away. So the free one is nice for learning. The pay as you go is nice if you're actually going to be making money off of it. You want something long term. I'll click on start free right here. And it says I already have one, but that's because I was experimenting yesterday. And I'll sign out of this one. I'm going to sign in with a different account. I just created a brand new Email account. So let me go back to this. Try Azure for free here. And I'll try to start free right here. And now I'm going to sign in with this one right here. This is the one I just created. It doesn't have any Azure account associated with it. And I don't really care about staying signed in. This is just a demo. And then ask me to agree to the terms of service here. And do I want to receive information and tips? And no, I do not want to receive email from them. And right here, it's, it does ask me for credit card information. It won't charge that card. See, in, but um, it needs to have it on file if you want to keep keep going with this. So I'll fill this out. Let's see, scroll down a little bit and I will, I have my credit card right here. Let me blur the screen and complete this information. Uh, and this one says I've already, I've already used my account. So I'm gonna have to do the, the pay as you go right here. You might not get this the first time. What it did was it sent, you'll see like a $1 charge on your credit card and then that will later be reversed. Just verify that it was in fact, so ask me again to agree, and I'll come down here. Same credit card number. It remembered. That's great. I don't want any of this extra technical support, uh, $100 a month. I'm just going to do this, and I'll just put a dot in there for the feedback. And now it's going to set up my account. This young lady looks very kind, but I don't think I want her help right now. No thanks. And here we are, I now have an I have a subscription and an account. And right here, these things are just help information. If you wanna check them out, you can see there's an estimated time. There's a lot of videos in here. If I click on this, there's my friend, Eric, He's gonna tell you a little bit about using the portal. So I would encourage you maybe to bookmark this and come back to it and go through these and spend an hour or two just watching these, especially if you're brand new to Azure. But if you wanna dive right in, just click up here on this link. And here's where you can create create things. And I have lots of videos in this series to show you how to create resources in Azure. If you wanted to create a web app, click that, fill out this blade right here, and it'll walk you through this wizard. So now I've got a subscription, a brand new one. Next thing I want to do is to manage those subscriptions. And to manage subscriptions, I can search for it. I actually have a link down here, but if I for some reason I don't see that, I'll just go up here and type in subscriptions and find it that way. And there I have a list of all of my subscriptions. There's only one right now. Uh, it has an ID right here, which is going to be unique, and it always will, it will always be the same for this subscription. Uh, so that identifies against all the other millions of subscriptions out there in the in the world. It also has a name, but the name you can change. I don't really like that name. It's kind of generic, and it would be hard to find if I had like a dozen subscriptions here. I wanted to know which one referred to this this the show for example so i can click on this and one thing i could do is just click on rename and just change it and i'll change it to gcast 
demo subscription right there. If I if I misspell something, I can just cancel that, or I'll save it right here. And you notice up here, a lot of things that happen Azure, they don't happen instantly, so you get a little status. And this one says it's done, but it's really not done. It's done submitting the change. But if I go back to my subscriptions, it, it may take 10 minutes for this to actually appear. What I mean by that is if I go back up to here to subscriptions and see the list, even if I refresh this page, it still shows the old subscription right here, old subscription name right here. The ID will always stay the same. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video for a few minutes and come back in about 10 minutes or so, refresh this page, and hopefully we'll see that change. It is now almost exactly 10 minutes later. I've refreshed this page, and now you can see that the subscription name has changed. The subscription ID is the same. Now that I've added one subscription, I actually can add more under the same account. Click here, and it brings up this dialog. A little bit different. It's not going to ask me for credit card information. It already knows that. But I can specify like a, a different billing profile, a different invoice section, and come in here and review and create a brand new Azure subscription right here. I'm not going to click on that because I really only need one. But one reason you might want to have multiple subscriptions in a single organization is for billing. Maybe each department has its own subscription, its own set of resources, and you want to make sure you keep that separate. It does make the reporting for billing a lot easier because each one will be charged separately. There are other ways to do that through reporting, but uh, this is one way to do this. And the final thing I'd like to show you is how to cancel your subscription. If I go back to the subscription sections, I decided, you know, this one, I don't need it anymore. It's served its purpose. I want to get rid of it. Maybe it was just a learning thing. Maybe it's a, a department that um, I, it, uh, I don't have anymore, isn't using Azure anymore. Can open up the subscription here and say cancel subscription and it does ask for a reason just so we can keep uh, microsoft and keep their records straight in this case i was just learning about the platform but maybe uh, that would cost more than i thought but or it didn't have the features that i expected it to have or that i need things like that uh try to be honest about what that is um and i don't want to auto renew that's fine so just confirm by clicking cancel subscription and a few seconds later we should see a message right up here you can see the progress of it there and it's done it won't bother you again you won't be able to create another one uh, another, if this was a free one you wouldn't be able to create another free one with this email but that's served its purpose for right now so in this video i've shown you how to create a subscription how to add new subscriptions how to rename a subscription and how to cancel a subscription. This is David. Thank you for watching.